today we are fishing for um, kokanee salmon and arctic char and there are rainbow trout in this lake we're just at a local stocked lake by whitehorse we are all geared up we got to climb up a mountain i guess and uh, do some maybe some travel across some dirt because why why wesley it's summer it's we, basically summer in the north <laughs> the, global warming I, I blame it to global warming pay more carbon taxes you'll help me in the north <laughs> yeah not much snow this year so uh hopefully we can make it and uh let's get at this Okay, you guys, we are set up. We just got little tungstens on. We usually use, what are those called? Giant king worms. King worms. Wesley usually uses giant king worms, but in the Yukon, the stores are all closed on Monday. Um, are you down there yet? Yeah. Wesley, so you're down there, you take bigger. I'm just starting. I'm, where are you? So that's a me, so I'm at your level right there. That's a me, Mario. You need your hook? Uh, not yet. What up the Pantastic? You got a Pantastic? I'm gonna bust into my old croissant. Oh, croissant. Good, it's been crushing lights right now. I don't want a whitefish. Co people don't have kokanee salmon in Arctic char as much as we do, or as you do. Oh, fish. Where? No. Oh, here we go. Yep. It's happening. Yep. Watch on the camera. Oh, you scared him, dude. I didn't do anything. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, yeah. Oh, he ate yours. No, he dropped it though. Missed it. Just touched it. You got there it. he is. Yep. Come on. It's like a 14 incher. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, first kokanee in the Yukon. Uh-oh, hook's in the heater. Color didn't matter. What'd you catch it on? Pink. Well, you show the people. Hey, well, I did already. My first Yukon kokanee. Now we need a big school to come through, but yeah, we're just using some shrimp. So just a little tungsten. Actually, CR Baits got these for uh, Wesley, and uh, I got the pink, black top, pink side. What's going on? You almost died. Are you okay? I'm, I'm totally good. I'm just going to move the pliers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, white bottom, and then we just uh, tipping it with a little piece of shrimp. But last time Wesley was catching them on those king worms, like I said, the uh, store is closed, so. Uh, it's a good sign that Kokanee went went for me and went for Wesley and then came back to me and hit me. So and we got the eat on the camera. Yeah, and we got the eat on the camera, which is good. So that's all I used right there. Let's see if it works. That worked really well. Uh, first fish that came in bit. So I'm super excited for that that they're not gonna be too hook shy here. It is the uh, start of April, so we're not, Wesley's never fished this lake early April. He's always fished it early season. This was my anti-depression darkness lake. <laughs> what do you, oh yeah, when it's dark out. And you're depressed all the time. When it's super dark out during the start of winter, uh, this lake's close, so Wesley would come here for just a quick trip. I'm going to 
Char on you guys, we just moved. Oh, come on. Oh, here he comes. My first Arctic char. <laughs> what a beauty, guys. <laughs> nice little Arctic char. They stock these fish by White Horse here in these local lakes. And you can see the colors on that guy, like the spots. This will be a female. We uh, didn't see any fish in that other spot for three hours. So we moved out to a mid lake point here and we're sitting in 22 feet of water. And that fish came out from the deep action. Oh no, he no. came after you first. So that fish came from the shallows. We're looking for kokanee also, but these guys are also in here. And that is my first Arctic char. Beauty. Have you ate them out of here yet? Oh yeah, they're delicious. Derek's oh. the best fish he's ever eaten in his life. Oh, we can take them home then or we could eat them for supper. You got them? Here's another one. I'm going to double. Oh, he... Oh, he bit me. Kokanee? Little Arctic char. There's another one down there. Missed the live scope footage our, our uh, underwater camera just died i got to get rid of that underwater camera now oh here he comes he's eating shrimp that's oh. falling there's two i should be able to there's see three. there's three. Oh, my hook my rods there's three there on little guy get yours back down there maybe it's a kokanee no, another little char. Oh, he just bit me. You got another one there? Guys, we moved to this spot and like we're seeing, oh, there's three fish. We gotta get back down. Little Arctic char, you guys. He's being squirrely, but there's lots, lots of fish down there. There we go. Let this fish go. We got more bait here. Yeah, they knocked my bait off and then they chased it to bottom. Here's here. some more bait. I'm gonna pull that camera though. It knocked my shrimp off, ate it, and then, oh my gosh, he followed me right to the surface. Mm -hmm. It was a bigger fish too. Yeah. See if he'll get me here. Okay guys, we're packing up. Um, finishing up at this Arctic Char Lake and Kokanee Lake. We got one nice kokanee and that couple of char there. That was my first Arctic Char ever, so that's kind of a bonus. And tomorrow, we are going to be gearing up and going for the elusive in canoe. So fingers crossed on that. We struck out twice um, in the summer last year and uh, we're hoping that we can get one in the winter on the ice.